Hi, it's Hillary here from Sensory Sun, and today I have a really cool graphical organizer to use for place value learning. Um, you could use it for several things, really, but right now I have it set up for Madeline to practice her place value math, and she has been working on numbers up to a thousand recently, and this is the way that we've been using uh, the base 10 cubes and blocks and flats um, for her to represent the number with objects and that's a great hands-on way for blind kids to really get familiar and really gain that number sense that we're hoping for and we know they can do and this just makes it all come together for Madeline. So just to set up um, for an example an activity that I do with Madeline is to give her a number and she shows me how it's represented with the base 10 blocks. So for instance, if I gave her 165. And now, let's slide this down a little bit where you can see the numbers. Now I would give her this and she knows to start it on the left and I taught her to Feel at the top, find the number, feel the texture so she knows where she is. Sometimes when we started out, I would just do units, sometimes I would just do tens, and sometimes just hundreds, just to give her a sense of where this is in her space. And that has been really big for Madeline as well, just to learn the spatial orientation and the setup on her desk, um, from her body outward into her whole environment of learning to travel within our apartment, at school, and those places. And this is just a really good way to get her organized at her desk. So, so here she would feel 100, and I'd read her, have her read the whole number first, 65. And probably when she reads it, usually she's going to say 1, 6, 5, and then she knows now that that's 165. At the beginning, she would have to think 100, 6, 10, 60, 5 units, 5. And so then she would go up, and I actually have these reversed, and I have the hundreds, tens, and units directly above, if I can show you that, um, the places for her. And this just is another way to keep them close by um, and in the same spot. So then she would go and find the one for the hundreds, find the hundreds flat, and then she would count six tens. And Madeline right now counts them out one by one. One, two, and I have her keep one hand planted in the space that she's putting them so she knows where they're going. Otherwise, she would probably do this and feeling for it. But by keeping one hand planted, she knows exactly that's where it's coming to. So we have six there. And then she would go five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'd have her go back through 165. 